Guess I got another job. I've had this one for a long time. It's fancier than your Dodge. What is it? What kind of motor do you got? It's 5.9. Look, like there's John's truck. Is it a 12 valve? No. Oh, uh, 24 valve? Yeah. Who's, who's rig is fancier? Mine or John's? <laughs> Leave in the comments below. All right, so we're back here at my favorite customer's house, John. So how's, how's the four inch outlet working out for you? It sucks. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Does it get clogged anymore? No. No? You're good? It works out for you? Oh, yeah. All right. They sucks could... with a fury. <laughs> That's a good thing, all right? It, it was supposed to suck. The king of liquid assets himself. What we have here today is we got a dump trailer, and we're going to go ahead and weld the trailer leg back onto it. John was nice enough to already take the leg off for me, and all I got to do is go ahead, prep that out, and weld this new one back on. When you're first getting into this business, this is a lot of the type of work you might take. I mean, worst case scenario, you don't weld it on good enough and the front of the trailer falls down and you know, you have to give the dude his money back and find a real welder. All right, so here's the truck from a few videos ago. All right, yeah, it looks pretty good. Looks like John painted it up. It's definitely uh, doing what he needs it to do. That's the most important part. All right, let's get back to the trailer. The first thing we're gonna do kind of figure out where we want the placement of the foot because obviously you can't just drop it in down in there and you're gonna be able to crank it so what we need to do is drop the handle down and make sure it's going to be in a comfortable position for whoever's using the trailer so right about there it looks pretty good Just give me a cut of his videos now so subscribe that's going to work out All right, guys, all nice and shiny and prepped out. One of the most important things when you're welding is to have a proper clean ground. You wanna make sure your lead ends are clean, that you have raw copper, you can see that on both sides, and you wanna make sure that the metal is clean. We're gonna be using some 332nd 7018 Today I'm running my SAE 350 Dutes Diesel air-cooled. Let's take her and let's put her at, I think 85 amps is gonna be about proper for this application. We need it to sit right like that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let the leg, oh, well, I guess fall out. I got a help in now in case it gets lost. <laughs> Might need a couple pointers or two. Yeah, a couple pointers. If you're gonna talk shit to me, get in front of the camera and do it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'll stay behind it. Let's see what we got. It's pretty good. And let's see what we got up here. Get it went a little hotter. Can't get the wire wheel on that. <sighs> but you can see it's a good weld. And then right here, you can always tell when you're running 7018 and you get these little bumps pretty consistently that you're gonna have a good weld. good all right looks good there and then just this one down here okay yeah i think it's mostly water all we got left to do shove this leg back into place put the pin back into it it's got a new leg you happy with it john very happy. Sweet. Alright, we're not fucking paying you. <laughs> <laughs>